time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. It's down there. Down there. And it's time to find my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. Same on Twitter. And it's time to get this movie review started. So, y'all, I just got back from the New Mutants movie. It starts off, you know, we see this girl running through the forest with her dad. They, they seem like American Indian heritage and stuff. And then, you know, they're being chased by something. It's like snowing out and all this crazy stuff's going on. Then next minute you realize she wakes up and she's in this hospital. And this lady's telling her, like, she's the only survivor from, from whatever happened that night before that killed her family and her dad. And she's at this 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 hospital for mutants. She's not the only one at this hospital. They have some others. They have the, the girl Rain, who she's like this dog mutant. They got the girl Magic. She's I, she's got all kind of powers. Her I loved her. She, she stood out as one of my favorite mutants in it all. Then they got like Roberto. He's like burns up stuff and everything. And then they got the other guy. What's, what's his name? He, he, he like does super speed. He super speeds through something stuff. Sam, that's what it is. Sam. This old time looking like, look like an old time psychiatric hospital or something like that. Doesn't have a fence around it, but it's guarded by this like invisible, you know, shield around it. The, you know, because Danny took off trying to escape this place. Bust, bust her face up all bleeding because she got busted up by the shield. The doctor, who is also a mutant herself, you know, has the little shield and she's shielding everything. So she tells them all, you know, that she's there to help them, help them control their powers. Because many of them, and you know, when they found out about their powers, either killed somebody or harmed them or killed many people. So they're there to try to control it and she's there to guide them to control it, right? Danny don't know what their powers is. Neither does the doctor, neither does everybody else. All she knows is that she survived some kind of crazy event that happened. They start reliving like their worst nightmares to all the mutants. You know, it starts with Sam who has that super speed and he was he worked in the mines and stuff and he starts going back, you know, you know, seeing things and, and being taken back into the mind. It starts to, you know, become too real. Like the other people are starting to see it. And when it gets to a point where these things are actually harming the people, it's not just a dream they're harming them. They're like something's going on. Let's talk some interesting parts of the movie. First we have our little lesbian love connection on it, right? We have Macy Williams who plays Rain in the movie, who was she was also in Game of Thrones. Her character, who's like this this dog mutant kind of character, and you know Danny, who's played by Blue Hunt, and is kind of the you know the star of the show, the the main lead in this, and uh, them two kind of have a little connection, and you even get your first little love, you know, kiss on 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 screen. And Sam is played by Charlie Heaton, and he has that superhero power where he can like burst off, he he can take off, and. And his character just, oh, I just felt for him. That's why I said he, he's kind of, I guess he was from Kentucky because they call him Kentucky and he worked in the mines with his father and he has that little accent. And it just seems like a good old, the good, good old, you know, hometown boy who didn't even want to have a power. See, he, he didn't. He doesn't. It seems like, you know, he don't want these powers. I don't know if any of them wanting powers. They can't keep them in control. But also these powers have like ruined their lives. Still so many questions I want to know. You know, like, who's behind this whole hospital and the training? You have the doctor, who's the lead, but you never meet really anybody else. You never really meet her superiors. They, they talk about this, this Essex, you know, corporation. You don't know who's behind the Essex, really. You don't know anything about it. I thought it was, the CGI was good. Like, some things of it, the monsters, I was really impressed. And some things I was like, that's a little cheesy, <laughs> you know? But I enjoyed it. It was a superhero film. I'm like, eh. You know, maybe because I wanted to see more of their superhero powers. They were mostly trying to control it or just developing them or just learning about them. When, but when we did get to a big climax in the movie, especially when my girl Magic busted out her powers, I was like, this is what I've been waiting for. But we get it kind of at the end. I want to see some X-Men kind of fighting and, and joining forces and, and beating bad guys. And we don't get much. And after the end credits, don't, don't wait around. Because there was none. I was like, ah. Oh. I know it's still the, the 20th Century Fox and do all that, so it's not Disney or Marvel, anything like that. But I'm like, I'm spoiled. I found the plot to be interesting. I found the storyline really interesting. I found the character developments in each of them really interesting. And, and that's what you kind of dive into this. 
You know, like I said, I wanted more action. Although we got to see these monsters. I mean, you see them in the trailer coming in over there, which is terrifying. But I wanted to see more fighting them. I'm like, you are superheroes. Don't just run away from them. Y'all got these superhero powers. You got these powers. Even though you can't control, you can fight these suckers. Overall, I thought it was great. I enjoyed it. I would give it a three out of five. You know, it's not the best. It's not up there with the, you know, five out of five Avengers type of movies or anything like that. But it was still enjoyable. It was still enjoyable. And I definitely think it's worth a watch. Should I, would I break COVID again to see it? Yes, I would. If you already saw it, let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time. Mwah!